What's going on everyone? It's time for an action sci-fi film review. This is part of my countdown to Halloween stuff I've been doing. Uh, for this all this month I'm going to be doing at least one uh, horror, sci-fi, thriller, or fantasy film review every day till Halloween to help you find some weird, um, some weird, odd, and big films uh, to check out this season. And so today we're actually going to continue on with a franchise that I started. I did the first one, Pitch Black, way back <laughs> near the beginning of when I started doing reviews. And now I'm finally getting to at least the next two. So, And today's going to be a unique one because I don't really do shorts. But today we're going to do an animated short film called The Chronicles of Riddick Dark Fury, which is the next one in the franchise. So, yeah. It was released um ju uh june 15 2004 it was directed by peter chung who did films like eon flux the show um fire breather the animatrix and diablo the wrath the show the movie and uh yeah so um yeah well the chronicles of riddick dark fury you're following riddick and he goes to he's on a space station with some evil person who is basically trying to steal um like people's souls and stuff. And uh, yeah, he has to come overcome them and try to fight them off and uh, save the ship. This is a pretty basic story. It's uh, only a 32 minute movie. So it's not like it's needs to be extravagant or anything like that. And uh, for this short film, they did have quite a bit of character development in it, which is surprising. And uh, which I actually thought was pretty good. You learn more, a little more about Riddick. Also this sort of like, uh, helps explain some of the um, plot holes between uh, Pitch Black and the next film, The Chronicles of Riddick, where he uh, actually goes in it, which sort of in pisses off the an overlord who wants to start a war. And uh, yeah, so this is basically the stepping stone into The Chronicles of Riddick, and it makes for an all right movie. Uh, yeah, the animation is really good. It's done in anime style, and it does a, uh, has some pretty good animation in it. Obviously, the voice acting is pretty good because Vin Diesel plays Riddick, and then there's a couple other notable casts in there that are recognizable. I can't name them off right now, though. And, uh, yeah. But overall, I thought the film was pretty... Um, it's pretty much a standard sort of, like, action sci-fi anime film. So... <clears throat> there's nothing really to really go on about the conflict in it is very minimal and uh it definitely takes its time to set up uh the conflict and when it gets to it it kind of just goes really quick and uh which is kind of uh, i think this film would have been better like almost an hour because you could have had some pretty cool fight scenes and stuff like that but with the way they set it up and stuff, I think this was more just a stepping stone for the next movie. So, yeah. Overall, I thought the film was all right. And, uh, yeah, I don't do shorts very much because it's very hard to sum them up about spoiling them and stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. So, The Chronicles of Riddick, Dark Fury. I'm going to give this film a two and a half out of five. It was amusing. And overall, you really get to see uh, how... Uh, the outcome is leading up to the Chronicles of Riddick, which was good because if you were just went in watching the Chronicles of Riddick, it'd be a confusing mess. So yeah. But overall I thought it was still a decent little short film. So yeah. But uh if you want to check it out, I'm not sure where it's streaming or anything. I'll find like the trailer and link it down below at least so you can check that out. Also make sure you check out my Instagram that's linked down below. That's where I post clips of films I'm gonna review in the future on my stories. You got the film title in. I usually put the film title in there and some fun fact thing in there as well. Also my Instagram's down below at Derek P Review. Uh, my my letterbox is down below at Derek P Review is that's where I post my first star rating after watching the films, and my Twitter's down below at reviews underscore Derek. So follow me on those platforms, stay with this channel. <clears throat> like this video, share it some more people aware of it, comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any, if you have any films or film franchise in that genre, and on any streaming service that you want to hear my opinions on in the future. Comment them down below, I'll try my best to get to them as soon as I can, and if I can find them, and uh, yeah, let me know if you want me to do more short film reviews as well, and also let me know what your favorite Chronicles of Reddick film is down below as well. Make sure you subscribe, hope you find something weird or obscure and odd they probably never thought of checking out together, and also share my opinions on popular films that come out, classic films, and reviews on other things as well. And don't forget to ring that bell, because obviously we're going to go into and do Chronicles of Riddick in the next review. So make sure you tune in for that. Watch out for all those crazy space overlords trying to take over the galaxy, because, well, that's going to happen in the future sooner or later. And I guess I'll see you all in the...
in the future <laughs> in the next one. So until then, cheers.